So hopefully I do this right this time. But anyways, guys, I'd like to start a new series about making computer builds. And so what's up? I'm Paladin, and we're making computer builds. Oh, yeah, I do. And anyways, uh, this is going to be like a once a month kind of thing. If it's on high demand, it'll be two or three times a month if you guys like it. Or want it to be two or three times a, a month. So, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and just kick the damn thing off. Let's go. Woo! All right. <laughs> so the first thing in our build will be the processor, and that is the AMD Athlon X4 750K. It is a four... It is a 4-core, I don't know why I was trying to say 4 in quad at the same time. It is a 4-core, 3.4 GHz socket FM2 processor. It has a turbo clock of 4 GHz, which is actually pretty awesome, and it's also overclockable. Um, on the motherboard hand of the deal, we have the MSI um, FM2, of course, because it has to match the socket, ding ding. Uh, DDR3 motherboard is a micro ATX uh, motherboard. I'm just reading off the name, by the way, so that's why I said DDR3 before I said anything else. But anyways, it is a. It also has USB 3.0, which is awesome, and it has a a, a good amount of um. It's a very good amount of USB ports in the back. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight USB ports in the back. Uh, two of them being USB 3.0, which is uh pretty awesome. Hope I'm not talking too fast, by the way. Uh, again, this is my first video, so remember to post comments below if I'm doing if I'm talking too fast, or if I'm trying to explain things too fast. Just let me know. Uh, and tell me to take my time, but that usually is a thing that gets complained about in my videos Most people want me to you know, just do it faster. So anyways, we're trying to do it fast. Let's go. Okay <laughs> The next next up is uh, in our item list is the hyper Kingston HyperX black It is uh, two sticks of four gigabyte memory. It is running at 1600 megahertz at DDR DDR 3 I almost messed it up. That's the thing that made me mess up this video the last time I kept talking about the damn DDR 3 memory anyways so yeah, it's very fast memory. A lot of people like it. Read up reviews on it. Very good memory. Moving on, we've got the uh, Western Digital Caviar Blue 500 gigabyte SATA 3 running at 700 and 7200 RPM. I don't know why I can never say that last thing. 7200 RPM. Do I need to write that down on a sticky note next to me when I'm doing this video videos or stuff? Uh, whatever. You get the point. It's 500 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty much the same as uh, next generation consoles. Which, by the way, if you hadn't noticed already, this build is going to be trying to compete with next generation consoles a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you uh, don't want to buy next generation consoles and you want to buy a gaming computer, this is a perfect idea and a perfect build for that. Um, so yeah, it is pretty much the same price as an Xbox One, but you're getting more performance than an Xbox One. So yeah, moving on. Uh, moving on, we have a Asus 2GB R7-260X overclocked edition, which I think this is the only edition of the card. I don't think there's a non-overclocked non uh, Asus card uh, for AMD. So yeah, this is an AMD graphics card, as I just mentioned. And uh, yeah, it has tons of performance. Uh, you can pretty much play with this computer about every game in 1080p. Uh, maybe not on ultra settings. I'd say some games you could probably squeeze in ultra settings, but maybe just medium and high settings. But still, um, that generally usually looks better than consoles overall. So, uh, yeah. Moving on, we've got a um, Core 1000 MATX computer case running at USB 3.0 on the uh, side. It has USB 3.0 on the side. I don't know why I was saying running at USB 3.0. Computer parts, computer parts, moving on. It will fit your, it will definitely fit the motherboard that I put in this build because they're both mini ATX or micro ATX as other people like to say. Mini ATX I think actually is uh, a, a mini ITX as they say. I don't know. It says ITX. Yeah, that's the smaller motherboards, but moving on. So yeah, it'll perfectly fit your MSI board and it will also have USB 3.0 in it so that you can have, you know, USB 3.0 running on the side of it and everything and you'll be good to go with that if you want to have any external hard drives and stuff. Um, moving on, for the power supply, we have the Corsair CXM series. So it is a modular power supply. It has 430 watts of power, which is more than enough to power this build. And it has a one ATX 12 volt rail, which again is more than enough power to run this. Great thing about modulars is that there's not a uh, ton of cables. This is a semi-modular power supply, so there is one cable that will go ahead and plug into your motherboard, and it will also plug into your motherboard's. Um... No wait, yeah, it's just the one cable, I believe, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. Looking at the computer now, or computer, the uh, power supply now, because I have it sitting right in front of me in terms of. 
pictures, and yes, it does have just one single cable that plugs into the motherboard. Um, and it'll be more than enough to fit your one graphics card, of course, which runs on a uh, six pin power connector, which this power supply does have a cord for. Moving on to the last thing, we have a Asus uh, DVD drive. If you want to stick your operating system in that, that's pretty much the main thing that the DVD drive is going to be used for. Of course, if you want to watch, you know, movies and stuff like that on your computer, you can go ahead and do that with this, of course. Uh, it does not do Blu-ray. That is the only thing that it does not do. <laughs> but anyways, you can totally play CDs, you know, music, and um, anything else you want to do with this. Uh, you know, if you're buying a CD uh, game, you know, a DVD-based uh, game from a store or something like that instead of using Steam, then that's another use for this. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the build. This is a $500 PC gaming build. Uh, let me know. Those of you who also build PCs or you're really good with PCs as well, like me, let me know if I did a good job, you know? I will post also in the description uh, more parts. If you have more money, if you have more money than $500, I can definitely swap out some of the parts in the description, which they will be listed in the description. Um, so yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Maybe you're going to use this build. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Stay sexy. Peace.